Hello, everybody. Hey, uh, what's up? Can they see us now? Yes, yes, they can. <laughs> oh, oh no, right. okay. I'm taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome, funny. everybody. Welcome. Uh, let's go around the horn, starting with Jordan Pridgen. Uh, uh, introduce yourself and your character. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Pridgen. I'm normally on wild cards and some other things. And if you watched our Starfinder show back in the day, you'll probably recognize this mask. But it's different this time because I'm wearing it in green and stuff and a hood. Yep. Uh, okay. And my character, <laughs> can you can you hear me? Does the mask yes. make it? Okay, great, good. Um, my character is Eriturum Ophinstalligir. Rude. Yep. I'm just going to say, you. anybody could have changed their name. There was no reason that you had to stick with your name, but... Nope, but it's definitely sticking with Eriturum <laughs> Ophinstalligir. <laughs> Can I just uh, call you AF? Like... Totally. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm like a green dragonborn druid, so, like... I think I'm probably like a green druid. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Like weed is what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. we right. weed. You got it. I like you weed. You got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's me. I'm a dreams druid. Okay. Uh, Jason. Oh, dreams. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm Jason. I am playing uh, the uh, half orc bard Thar. Just Thar. Um, Thar! She Thar. blows. Thar. Yes, yeah. indeed. Um, no, she blows was my father. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thar. Uh, uh, it's a family name, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. Great. yeah. Please call me Thar. Mr. She blows was my dad. Yes, exactly. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's the half orc bard with zero charisma. <laughs> here to <laughs> rock and roll very loudly. I relate to this character already so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chewing. Michael. Oh. Hi, uh, I am Michael Holmes. I'm representing the Games We Never Play podcast here today. And I am playing the half-elf ranger Yenhorn, who I think looks a little bit like Eddie Redmayne crossed with Judson Scott. Who's Judson Scott, you might ask? Uh, he was Khan's right-hand man in Wrath of Khan, and he was also in a ton hmm. of other stuff. Really great uh, bone structure. <laughs> Hi, and what's his name again? Yen Horn, half elf. Two weapons. <laughs> great. Uh, Wes. I hey everybody. I am Wes Otis. I am playing a druid paladin named Bardis. His mother really wanted a bard. <laughs> um, so, and uh, I'm really excited to, to be back on saving throw today helping out with the subathon thank you guys for having me thanks for being here so that is it i'm i'm ready to go uh awesome uh rick uh hey i am rick bud and uh i am playing a um uh, half elf um uh rogue uh smuggler um and um i put I, I i solicited names from the chat earlier in the day and i got a lot of fantastic suggestions uh, but I've ultimately decided to go with uh, Phantom George. Uh, Phantom <laughs> George. And Phantom George of the Connecticut Georges. Uh, <laughs> Phantom is my first name. It's, it's mm. just a name. Um, uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, uh, happy to be here. Uh, great. Terry. Oh, hey, guys. Um, I'm Terry Gamble. I am here playing a tiefling cleric by the name of Ralrus. You may be the Eggman, but I am the... Ralrus. It's R A L R U S. <laughs> oh, Lord. Goo goo goo. Wow. Yeah. I am me and you are you. We are we together. Okay, oh, we really man. can't afford these. Um. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to sing it. I just tried to My say brain. it and not, and not sing it. <laughs> uh, this is well beyond what we're capable of doing. D&D uh, &D well, Beyond? Well, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Welcome, welcome, adventurers all. We will be doing some trivia, and uh, through this trivia, we are going to, uh, you can have the potential to win an um, inspiration for your party. So uh, be prepared for that. But right now, what I need is a noun. Just any Words. noun. 
From us or from chat? From you. Oh, I think Terry said woods. 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 Like into the. Mm-hmm. Uh, Is ours okay, okay, like, maybe. Are, are uh, most of them? And I, yes, uh, I hope it is. Give me, give me another a a proper noun. A, a um a yeah. Give me a proper noun that you might find in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Pirate ship. That's not a proper noun. Yeah. Maybe that's its name. <laughs> Uh, pirate the ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, the ship's name is proper noun. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, this man. is going to be great. Wow, that nice. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, my God. Alchemist? Okay. Uh, okay, great. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. You have helped me craft your doom. Hooray! Doom! We did it. Okay, did it uh, uh, trivia. So, uh, my my friends, uh, I just posted, uh, so you know, I just posted the second straw poll that was unlocked through our subscribers. Thank you very much. You're gonna help dictate where the final uh, battle uh, will, will uh, or how it will happen, rather. Um, but for now, my adventurers, uh, you can choose. You can choose between, uh, I will let you choose a letter, H, L, or S. S? I like, I like S. I think S, S? is a solid choice. S, okay. Oh. All right. Oh, well. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars trivia. Oh my God, okay. Okay, I'm awake. What? <laughs> Let's do it. Um, uh, let me roll. I'm, I've got my, you can't see this, uh, at Zoom, but I have a Trivial Pursuit die. Uh, that's pink. Okay. Um, what Star Wars role did Ewan McGregor say it would be interesting to play after sticking some big pastries on his head? Princess Leia? Uh, Is that your final answer? I mean, it makes the most sense to me. Yeah. The answer is Jake Lloyd. No! Princess Leia is the correct answer. You got it right. Hooray! Like... <laughs> uh, oh, poor Jake Lloyd. Do you want to go for another one? Sure. 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 Okay. Um, Wes, give me a number one through five. Three. Ooh, a three, eh? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we are in the world of Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Second Edition Trivia. Nice. Here we go. This is a level three question. Ooh. <laughs> Which two character classes or groups have the best chance of discovering that someone is scrying on them? Again. Lyric? Which oh, sorry. which two character <laughs> which two character classes or groups have the best chance of discovering that someone is scrying on them? Remember, this is second edition A D and D. So no mm. no sorcerers. So it's got to be like wizards and clerics, right? Well, uh, or it could be. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it's wizards, right. clerics. Yeah. Yeah. Wizards and clerics. Is that your final? Yeah. Anybody yeah, else? There weren't like okay. warlocks or anything. Well, no. I mean. Did they have druids? Yeah, yeah they, they did. did have druids, yeah. But those weren't a, I don't think druids, well, yeah, druids were a main class, so. I just don't identify scrying with druids for some reason, but that's me. I can't believe we're having this conversation. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so clerics and wizards are we going with? I guess. Yeah, let's give that a try. I'm sure Terry, Jason, Jason, Terry, any, anybody? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm with you guys. I have not played the, yeah, that I'm, far long ago. That's yeah. quite all right. <laughs> Clerics and wizards. Uh, the correct answer is wizards and priests, but I will give it to you. Clerics, hey, clerics yeah. works. It's basically oh, yeah. a priest, right? Yeah, yeah. so right. there you go. Thanks. Well done. You all have two uh, inspiration hey. tokens. Yay. Uh, each one of you, so. Use those as you see fit. 
I just realized, like a total scrub, I have every die out except a d20. Because <laughs> nice. you won't need that. We don't use d20. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. This is a this so is prepared. a so prepared. A, powered I by was the apocalypse, Savage right? Worlds last night. You don't use d20. Uh, 2d10 gets pretty close. It does. It's the same. <laughs> if you're Gary Gygax, it does. <laughs> you're so you're so used to uh, Savage Worlds. Okay, exactly. here we go. Exactly. Um. Let's get into this adventure, shall we? So, uh, give me one sec. Let me grab a die. Wow, you really I'm were far away it. from a d20. Dying for it. Oh, I get it. Hilarious. To die for. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Oh. Die another day? Dice joke. Now I understand. <laughs> you guys didn't realize that Terry actually got her dad joke license a few weeks ago, and it's just oh, been... congratulations! I knew oh. you had your dad joke permit. Thank you so permit. much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Terry is the dad that we need. Yeah, I've absolutely. been a dad my whole life. I think yeah. honestly, I'm back. We don't I got deserve it. you, but we need you. I second that, Jason. <laughs> I'm everybody's daddy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy? Okay, Here. on that note. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we find you, uh, you are an adventuring party who has uh, traveled along together for a long time. And in the movie of Return to Planet Sega Genesis, we find you uh, in situ, basically. We come upon you and you are in the middle of doing something. What is it that we find your party doing? And does your party have a, a party name that, that uh, the folks call you by uh, when they need help? For some reason, the no? reluctant few <laughs> is what comes to mind. Yes. The, the reluctant few? Yeah, I don't know. Anybody yeah. can override that if they want. Uh, yeah, like, some, the stump six? six? We, yeah, the reluctant six is. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the reluctant six. I like six. to imagine we just like started out as a group that was like all sitting at the same table somewhere. Yeah, we were, were like, the supper club first. Yeah, yeah, we were totally like a supper club. And we we're like, yeah, we just get together and we have great food. Oh, mm -hmm. we wanted to eat. Right, if we just went out someday and I don't know, found a dungeon. <laughs> yeah. We're a really, really bad book club. Yeah, <laughs> we had reservations at a nice club. restaurant, and we accidentally went into the dungeon next door. <laughs> so, uh, the reluctant the accidental six? party, yeah, the reluctant party, accidental six, reluctant six, accidental <laughs> party, accidental party. Huh, like that's it. a Merchant Ivory film, I think. <laughs> yeah, accidental Probably. party. Yeah. Okay, the reluctant six. Uh, where do we find the reluctant six right now? What what are you all doing at at present? Um, our brand new cart that was supposed to be brand new has broken down, and we're trying to fix it in the middle of a road. Uh, no joke, oh, I was man. thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, we're okay. We're totally gonna miss our nice lunch reservation if we can't get our car fixed, man. The hell's we will. <laughs> You are. Dude, where's my cart? You are in the middle of water deep right now, and your cart has broken down in the middle of the road. It's a busy intersection, uh, and you have one wheel off, and uh, people are just just shaking their heads at you in disdain. Like, how dare you uh, block traffic? Uh, this is water deep, and yeah. they uh, uh, are are looking at you with side eyes and and such. Uh, when the uh, the guard, the local constabulary, comes up and uh, inquires what the holdup is. Well, I mean, you could help us, couldn't you? You see what the holdup is. We've got a broken wheel, and we're in the yeah. middle of this place. Yeah, I don't fix. Like we I don't Come fix on. carts. I don't fix right, carts. That's not what I do. It's not let like me. we wanted to be here. Like I we mean, didn't want to be here. We're a supper club. I mean, we eat food. We don't fix carts. Oh, Come hey, on, hey, they're a supper club, huh? Hey, okay, well, that's great, supper club. Can you eat your cart and move it out, maybe? With your help? Come These on. guys, hey. Uh, oh, you want to help? Hey, there's a copper in for it. I got a copper for you if you help us, copper. Copper for a <laughs> copper. Hey, yeah. uh, I see. I, yeah, Ter okay. Terry yeah. can't. Terry can't be the only one that gets him in. <laughs> <laughs> I see how this session's going to go. Maybe I dropped a big bat in now. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> 
dude. So uh, I'm I'm sorry. Are are you uh, are you are you uh, bribing me? Uh, nah, we would never bribe you, sir. No. no. Oh, I thought I was yeah. being offered. Right. It's, just, it's really just a thank you in advance. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Payment for services. I mean, you're, you're going out of your way to help us, you know. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. the long lost heir of a, a, a very prominent family in Baldur's Gate, and I'm sure that there would be more in it if you were to help us get our cart off the road. And Michael, we'll Michael, give me a persuasion roll, if you oh, would, please. I don't please. want to. Okay. <laughs> Does he get that at advantage because of his bone structure? I think he should. I mean, <laughs> wait, aren't you the guy <laughs> from Wrath of Khan? <laughs> uh, that's an 18, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, you looked kind of familiar. Um, mm. yes, fine. I mean, with cheek, cheekbones like this, I mean, it's it's hard to ignore. I understand. <laughs> He's the prettiest of us all. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, anywho, uh, yeah, okay, great, all right, hey, uh, guys, come on, let's, uh, help them move this uh, on the other side, I bet there's a copper in it for you, and, uh, a couple of the other guards come and help you kind of lift the cart up and move it to the side, uh, of the road, it's still taking up space, the, the, the people would like to be using this space to, to walk so they don't have to walk in the road and stuff like that, but, but you are now out of the thoroughfare as it were, and uh, you're able to sort of work on this in peace uh, as, as you go. Um, I want to try and pick the constable's pocket. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, wow. well, he's like moving the thing towards the side of the road and kind of just distracted by the labor. I just kind of want to take the opportunity to see if he's got anything good. I mean, sure. can we give him the coin first so we can get the coin back? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yes. as a paladin, I feel like if I'm going to give him a coin, he should tithe to the church. <laughs> so therefore, I should keep the copper. But, you Look, know. guys, whatever we do, let's just make sure that these cops don't search our cart because I might have stashed some stuff in there. So Not like, again. Okay. It's just a little bit, you know? I, I had I had to get my good berries. Uh. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see how this works. Um, Wes, give me a persuasion roll. Oh, that'll go well. <laughs> Rick, uh, give me a sleight of hand roll. Uh, okay, where's my sleight of hand? Oh, nice. Um, so it's 18 plus 8, uh, so 26. Um, um, what did you get? Back. Uh, well, with my plus two, I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Start off well. <laughs> that was a natural one. That is what, is that what I just heard? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Cool, 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 cool. So, so tell Not me, gonna lie. Tell me, uh, tell you me, can. Wes. Tell me, Wes, what uh, what you tell the the uh, constable to get him to retithe basically this copper piece, sir. Um, you look like the kind of man who won't know what to do with this money anyway, and probably doesn't have a girlfriend. So maybe you should just let me keep this, and you and the other chuckleheads can just move along. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckleheads. Chuckleheads. Oh. Huh. Well, thank you very much. Uh, You're welcome. And he goes, you know what? For that, I think I will go tithe this to my wife who needs the money right now. And uh, uh, he continues walking out of your uh, um. of your thing. However, uh, uh, Phantom George uh, reaches into his pocket and is stealthily and un unbeknownst to anybody manages to pilfer the coin back and has it uh, there. And you now have a copper, Phantom George. Do you let anyone else know that you have this copper? Um, would I? Uh, yeah, I'd probably give it back to... Um... Bardis. Okay. Bardis. Yeah, Bardis. Bardis. So you present you uh Phantom George walks up to Bardis and uh presents presents a coin uh sort of just like cops I hand it back to him. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I usually don't uh 
I usually don't agree with uh, theft, but uh, the church needs the money. <laughs> hey, man, the church of, like, nature doesn't need money, you know? We just got, like, dreams and, and trees and shit. But I, that being said, I appreciate you guys paying for all my meals. <laughs> well, look, this is clearly a job for me, the the smoothest voice in the city. <laughs> I, I so will calming. entice someone to help us out here. Var, uh, played by Harvey Firestein. <laughs> Var, I would totally help you if I wasn't like already on your team. Uh, passersby, we need some help, please. Uh, we could do a duet, my friend. Yeah. I think everyone would love it. Uh, it'd be, <laughs> please it'd be help very helpful. Please. Us. Yes. Please help yes. us. We went from yeah. adventurers to hobos in five seconds. <laughs> And Look, soon I'm, we'll be murder hobos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very well known in this city. The most fun yes. kind of I, I, I'm part of a very important family in Baldur's Gate. If anybody wants to help us, there may be some coin involved. Anyone? Uh, one person. I'll help you. One person stops. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that. I don't know from, from far away. I'll help you. Uh, and uh, a a woman comes up and uh, she offers uh, her services to repair your wagon. She is a, a she's an artificer of some renown in the area and uh, could probably repair it for some coin. <clears throat> so I understand that I've promised her some coin. Do we can we you know dial this in? I'll, uh, I'll make it up to everyone. Are we of course. About? I, uh, my good lady, you think ask? maybe. Thank you so much for stopping to assist us. Uh, how, how much would you charge to assist us in this endeavor? Uh, simply so we can remunerate you adequately later on. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, you got a brand new cart here, I see. Mm -hmm. Straight off the line. Yeah, okay. Oh, these parts are hard to come by. Well, uh, but oh. if it's brand new, how can it be hard to come by if uh, they just made it? It well, should like, still be on the yeah. line, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, the, not many cars have come out. That's that these parts are not easily in the in the uh, in the general populace. Uh, uh, yeah, that's going to be four hundred gold. Uh, 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 nah, is that your hey, first hey, offer, right? That's your first offer, right? Is there like uh, some way we can like pay you not with money though? Like, are you are you trying to cheat me? No, 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 we're trying no. to bargain with you. Bar bargain with you. It's just ah. you understand, of course. We've we've been on the road. We wouldn't carry that much money just with us. I mean, usually, that would be uh -huh. usually we'd have so much more money. But our have you heard our bard's voice? We can't get as much as. Oh, you have a bard? But, yeah. I would love to hear this bard. What's, Which one of you's the bard? I'm at the I'm at the top of my game. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for a lovely song. I will do this for you for free. Oh yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. I, that's that's very fair. I will uh I'll oh, I'll serenade that. you while you work. Uh oh I mean I'm not working until I get the song. I think that's yeah, well, right. I, I, I could sing a great song and then you just decide you don't like it and walk away. So I think it's the same same kind of thing. Alright, listen. I don't know why she suddenly has like <laughs> a deep voice that the constable had. Uh, <laughs> listen, I am a master artificer. I work for the king. Um, I can guarantee you on this writ, and she produces a, a writ from uh, her, her cloak, and uh, on it says that whatever the master artificer promises to do will be done and will be held accountable by the king if it is not done uh, according to their promise. And she says, if you sing and it is beautiful, I will fix your cart. But if you don't, I won't. That is my promise to you. Well, who, who decides if it's beautiful? I mean, I'm very, I, I, I'm I mean, I, I do. I do. It's yeah. got to be beautiful to me. I, well, but beauty um, is like in the eye of the beholder. Have you, you know? not heard of Thar the Bard? Yeah. Uh, well, just be aware, but, you know, Thar. As, as you're thinking about this, Thar. I only have one name. That's how important <laughs> I am. So, uh, yeah, just, it's like him, it's Cher, Madonna. Yes. One name. Yes. Swan. That's, an important Swan. Detail. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Uh. 
well, here I am. Give me your best shot. <laughs> and and she sits she sits down and uh, crosses her legs and awaits the song. Give me a performance roll. Yeah, a uh, performance uh, with a, let's see a charisma of ten. Wait, wait, and... when, <laughs> wait before he rolls. When when he's about to uh, to do it, I kind of go over and just give him a little like shoulder massage. It's like, hey man, you can do this. Like you're so good at singing, and uh, cast guidance. Oh, so your guidance. It's, it's weird how he does that every time before I'm going to go on stage. I don't know. It's like <laughs> yep. he doesn't think I'm good at singing. You can, uh, you can roll a d4 and add it to your okay. uh, ability check. Thank I'll goodness. add a d4 to this. Um, okay. Well, let's see. We're going to hit right in the middle. That's a nine on the dice plus one is a ten. Nailed it. All right. That is average. Yes. Hey, average is fine, man. Do you okay, want to yeah. use an inspiration to re-roll that? Um, yeah, I mean, I might as well. Yep. Get this party started. I mean, what else What else could you possibly be using that inspiration for today? I can't imagine. That's worse, so we'll <laughs> stick with the 10, Bob. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, chat Chat knows. Some people in chat know where the direction this is going, so um, oh, no. uh, I'm, oh, sure, good. I'm sure they, they think that you are very wise. Um, yeah, okay, that was a song. That was a song. <laughs> it was, right? Yeah. Was I mean the uh, the the agreement was that I it would have to be a beautiful song. Uh, we we all understand that uh part, right? Um uh Oh yeah, this this song is beautiful. It's I mean, you should hear when uh when uh, uh, Selenor performs it in the uh, King's, uh, yeah, I mean, the song is absolutely beautiful. Uh -huh. It's avant-garde. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like <laughs> a new uh, a new type of thing that's happening out there. It's a new sound that's been discovered, so, you know. Yeah, you don't want to sleep on this. This is, you know. This is the next great voice, really. Pretty. Oh, yeah. It's, it's got a uh... beginning, the middle, the end. There's a tune to it. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, the tune. I mean, but hey. <laughs> And you're so ready for that end that when it gets there, you're very happy, and it makes the song all the better. Yeah, that sense of relief that uh, that that you've gotten through it. Every time he stops singing, I'm like, oh man, this is great. It's that relaxation after like, you know, badness or right. something. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a it's a it, we've got a dash which gives you a bonus to uh, that <laughs> that roll. Uh, and a, a dash bonus gives you, I'm going to roll a D six. Okay, Actually, no, wait, no, wait, I'm going to roll a D 10. I'm still dragonborn. I'm dash, dash is my son who just woke up from his nap. Yeah. I'm going to roll a D 10. So there is a slight chance that you beat her roll of 18. Okay. You got a 20 on that, my friend, Ooh. cause I rolled a 10. Nice. So thanks to that dash bonus, that only happens once uh, per game, and uh, all the other games got oh, it no. too. I don't know why they they uh, think that it wouldn't, but we well, no, uh, use it now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, that was the song, and it was. It was the best was, song in the world. You know, yeah. I'm kind of remembering that it was better than I remembered it. Yeah. Oh, innovative, wow. innovative. I would say. You, know, you have to yeah. sit with it for a while, about it. and then the more you, you you just kind of you know you sleep on it, it's like mm, mm, mm. It, it grows on you. It yeah. does, um, like gravy. It was it was catchy, oh. but I can't remember it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but but you also can't quite get like it out of your head. Going to time, like you. Can't you like the tune, but you can't really sing any of the words yeah. when you leave the show. Yeah. 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 Sometimes me, this is it's gonna, good. It's going to stick with you. Uh, she she is thoroughly impressed and uh, decides to, uh, well, she will help you uh, by writ of the king. She must now, as she promised to do so. Uh, and she uh, uh, pulls out several tools and starts um, affixing the wheel back onto the cart. Um, as she's working, you essentially have a free reign of, of water deep though. Uh, do you want to go anywhere while you're, while you're here? Anything sure. you wanted to check out? Uh, I, I could use a drink. 
Yeah, it's I been a long also, yeah, journey. The yes, definitely. Let's Maybe the some pie. Uh, you, yeah, there is uh, there is a a uh, a a pub called uh, Ale and Pie. Uh, is just around the corner that you know of, and uh, they have supposedly pretty good pie for this uh, this region. Well, we'd probably know because we're we're we're, we're pretty up to date on like the culinary scene. Yeah, as the separate club, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. this Foodies, is you know. Yeah, this is probably the place that you've been wanting. That it's been talked about in the water deep. Been weekly. on the list. Yeah. Uh, th- um, Jonathan Goldpiece wrote wrote something about it. Oh, well done. <laughs> See, I was trying to think uh, on like Zagat's <laughs> or something like that. But no, Jonathan Goldpiece. Yeah, Jonathan really gold. Goldpiece. No, Zagat's is the beholder that runs Waterdeep. Um, uh, <laughs> Tom, as if I could word you XP, I would. <laughs> you get inspiration. Yeah, yeah take inspiration, Duff. Uh, you don't want me to have inspiration, trust me. Um, <laughs> Absolutely, I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys all go into the, uh, the the uh, what did I call it? Ale and Pie? Ale and, and Pie. pie. And uh, inside you go to the Ale and Pie, and it's, it's a, basically what you'd expect for this neighborhood. Uh, it's a rather small tavern, not too big, but uh, it has some... Um, some some accoutrements on the wall, uh, some some deer head and such, and uh, uh, oh, only a couple like people, that. only a couple people in here. Um, but uh, the the bartender, uh, what what'll I get you? The special uh, uh, ale and pie. Ale and pie. I'm guessing. Uh, oh. I would like them. Do, ale do and I pie. Get to select the ale, or is it just house ale? Six, uh, six ales is it and IPA pies, or. No, it's it's ale. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just so now realizing pie. that this is ale and pie, not ailing pie. Uh, oh, yeah, right. You know, really right. This was a different, no, um, there's a lot of uh, we get confusion sometimes if you talk fast, but no, yeah. it's this is the <laughs> ale and pie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I'll, six I'll ales and pies. Yes. So the okay. ale comes in in the middle of the pie, right? So no, when it's you not ale right pie. It, yeah, it's like a so it's gusher. Ale in pie, right? So like. <laughs> oh it's man. Like, Ugh. You bite in and it like gushes out, and it's like. Oh. Speaking of which, do you have eel pie? Because like that's really good. Eel, eel pie. Yeah, eel, you know, eel. like eel pie. It's got like a sweetness pie? to it. Oh yeah. No, it's we pretty good. We, no, we just have uh uh is azip azip pie. It's azip pie. Uh, oh, okay. azip sorry, pie? azip. Yeah, it, it's something. I don't know. I just try it. You get a sip with the pie. You All might right, like I'll try it. it. Well, yeah. we'll give it a try. What about ACC eel? IP? Ale. Um, and yeah, the the ale does rest within the Azip pie, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, bartender comes out and presents in front of each of you um, uh, basically what looks like a bowl, uh, and and the pie. Uh, you, the the smells coming off of this is amazing. This is, smells like the best. Uh, thing you have ever smelled uh and the the ale looks super inviting um and uh uh yeah it's there you go it's right in front of you oh yeah it's like a constitution save let's eat this seems much better than uh the meat pie factory last from last week (laughs) oh yeah yeah yeah, no meat that was wild yeah yeah no meat pies here Mm mm-mm I, I wish factory was like really the right way to call it on that one. Yeah, because they just bump that shit out. <laughs> yeah, they really do. They this have a lot like of flavor, artisan. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I want to scope out the rest of the clientele in the in the pub. Is there anybody who looks like they might, you know, be worth robbing? Uh, not really. Uh, this is this is not a a wealthy part of Waterdeep, and as you are looking at. Uh, the the other patrons here, and as you're all about to uh, dive into your ale and pie, suddenly the world starts fading, and blue lights start uh, spinning around you. And you have a nice lunch. Sorry. Okay. And, yeah, you can't. I want and, to grab the board with the pie on it. Eriterum. <laughs> Eriterum <laughs> just uh, expects that he's having a flashback of some sort, so he's just like. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, cool. the blue I lights kind of move up and down uh, through. Yes, what, 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 Wes? 
No, no, keep going. Bardis. Um, uh, the blue lights kind of move up and down and sort of surround you, and the world starts stretching uh, um, almost yeah. as if it was like silly putty and it was being being pulled apart. And uh, you feel yourself stretching as well as you are being thrust at high velocity through what you can only um, describe is a... A, uh, a tunnel of some kind, um, a light tunnel, and you see various things uh, streaming by as you're going. Stretched Garfield with $25. Thank you very much for coming in. You see uh, Garfield, who is stretched uh, uh, and, and just sort of flying by. You don't know who Garfield is, but oh no. my gosh, wow. Uh, you see it. And it's very scary. Uh, you do not like a stretched Garfield. You also see what looks like. But I want lasagna now. God. Uh, yeah, well, that... we don't understand the association, though. No, no. <laughs> uh, and you, uh, you see what looks like a a, a blocky, uh, uh, almost jungle type. Uh, you see some some uh, um, uh, palm trees. They look like palm trees. They could be palm trees. And there's like a, a path that kind of goes into a loop de loop, and that just kind of goes past you and you as you uh fly past these things you look at each other and you are all stretched uh stretched thin like going through a black hole might be yeah yeah michael's got it that's it and then almost as soon as it began you start compressing back again and the world Ooh. starts fading back into existence and uh you the blue lights uh, sort of reappear around you and then explode off of you in a concussive force that blows the dust and dirt uh, away from you uh, in a in a uh, cacophonous uh, explosion. And Whoa. you you find yourselves at the base of a mountain, uh, and it is uh, rather chilly. But looking around this doesn't seem to look familiar to you. You've adventured around quite a bit, but this doesn't look like a mountain range you completely recognize. Uh, the sun, if you could call it that, is out. Things are lit up, but the sky is a dark, dark gray. And above you, there is uh, what looks like a giant um, teacup saucer. Uh, upended, uh, uh, so that the, uh, the curved, uh, inside is, is, is directly above you. It is basically upside down. It has the impression that it looks almost ceramic. Uh, it has a, a red ring around the edge of it. And, uh, it is massive. Uh, one might say it is Independence Day mothership massive. Um, and it is, it but that is wouldn't almost mean anything to us. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's, you know, I mean, you remember Independence Day and Waterdeep, but this had nothing to do with mothership. So, right. Uh, but yeah, uh, it is, it I is that was some good Allen pie. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, was maybe too good. We're like, <laughs> it was out of this world because now who the fuck knows where we are. I feel transported. Did uh, anyone else see Garfield go by? Who's yeah, Garfield? That what that was? I don't know, What's but I just Garfield? Yeah, want lasagna or some. I just green. saw the name tag and I figured it out. Yeah, um, I feel like I probably right? did. In in front of you, at there's a trail that basically leads up the mountain, and at the base of this trail, you see a uh, a fountain that has some sort of brackish liquid in it of some kind. Um, uh, it, it, looks kind of like water it's somewhat see-through but uh but you're not entirely sure what it is uh everyone give me a constitution check constitution constitution saving throw constitution i got a 16 15 uh, uh, it wasn't a natural one but it's only a three okay <laughs> oh, i also got a three I, I feel like we've bonded a little bit over that. rick what did you get 19 okay wes 15 okay jason and michael 
Uh, you feel a little queasy. Uh, in well, fact, in fact, uh, something might be coming up. That ale and pie, if you got even a bite of it, is it did not sit well, and uh, this uh, trip did not help things at all. And uh, things are kind of starting to to come up a little bit. Your your throat feels uh, sore, and uh, um, it's not a good feeling. Okay. Okay. Did, now, I was going to grab that pie before on our way out. Did it make the trip through um, string theory with us? <laughs> so, in your hands, you are holding what used to be the Izap, or Azip pie, uh, but uh, it is a mess of, of things. In fact, it looks disgusting at this point, and it makes you even more sick to your stomach to, to just uh, look yeah. at this thing. Yeah. Cool. We'll drop that and just go ahead and uh, yarf off to the side. <laughs> uh, Dom, really quickly, do we yes. have any sort of uh, debuffs or anything, or are we just feeling queasy? No, you're just feeling queasy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to figure out where we are, right? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Mm. Uh... So, Dom, are there any, like, birds or animals around uh give me a perception check okay Any, anyone perception. got a water skin water actually anything. actually give me a was it nature check can you give me a nature check i hope our druid yeah, I can, can. Nature. <laughs> give me a nature yeah like the world is nature. it's a 10 um you this this doesn't look like your world but uh there are places you haven't been on your world it could easily be that Okay. But are there any animals? Uh, yes. You do see some animals. Uh, uh there, there appears to be something, uh, in the, in the sort of sagebrush around the, the base of this mountain. There appears to be things flitting about. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm going to walk into the bush and just sort of like hold up my hands and be like, to me, little animals, to me. And, um... <laughs> Uh, I want to cast, if I can find one of the animals, I want to cast Speak with Animal. Okay. Uh, uh, so, one of the... It's... It's the size of a... Uh, of a robin. And uh, sort of a, a smallish bird. But it is, uh, it is clearly not a bird. It is um, sort of a grotesque uh, half ant, half beetle kind of uh, with with a lot of little like tentacly uh, uh, mouth. I don't know. Okay, so it's, can I hold up my gross. finger and have it sit on it? Yes. What is this? David yes. Cronenberg does Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did I not tell you guys this? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm here for it. I just <laughs> want to clarify. Yeah. So it has kind of butterfly wings, and it kind of floats up, and it and it lands on your finger. Oh. Okay, weird little thing. I'm gonna cast Speak with Animals, and then I can talk with this for ten minutes. Okay. Hey, there. And draw my crossbow and keep it covered. <laughs> yeah, I'm, okay. I'm definitely pulling my daggers while trying not to hork. Mm. Hey, little dude, do you have like a name or something? Yeah, Gary. Hey, Gary. It's nice to meet you. Of course. I'm I'm Eraturum Orphan Challenger. Whoa. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's quite a Pretty name. crazy. Yeah. I know. I forget it all the time. Huh. Hey, like, where where are we, though? Hey, I mean, it's pretty cool that we can talk. Oh, yeah. No, it freaked me out the first time I realized I could talk to animals, but, like, uh -huh. then it's just, like, been a cool thing, you know? I mean, like, you know, this doesn't happen to me every day, so, like, tell me about yourself. Oh, me? Okay, and he goes on to kind of a long <laughs> discussion about, like, everything he likes and yeah. stuff. Eight minutes and goes by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like eight and a half minutes goes by. And I'm like, oh, I've only got like thirty more seconds to like ask uh -huh. questions. <laughs> oh so, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. Where, like, where are we? W what is this place? Uh, well, the locals call it. Uh, uh. Well, hey, you can just ask him. They're right behind you. And, oh, cool. Uh, he points. He points behind you, and you all turn around and. Uh, Leveled uh, spears are leveled at you at eye level as you see a group of what you recognize as flumps, but are clearly not 
flumps. There's something odd about them. They have a dark red appearance. They have uh, the eye, the traditional eye stalks of a flump, but their flumps, the the eye stalks are glowing red, and uh, their tentacles end in uh, spiky appendages. And uh, around their mouths, which flumps don't usually have, but these ones do, uh, they have uh, what looks like a hairy um, uh, goatee, actually. Oh, uh, hey, Gary, you, you better fly the fuck away. Like, this, this is looking bad. Thanks, oh, man. Good to talk with you. Yeah, hey, hey, keep it real. And he sticks out a hand to pound it. He sticks out a little, a little insect arm. Pound, pound it, man. Pound it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boom. All right, cool. <laughs> Catch you later. Later, later Gary. <laughs> and Gary f flutters away. Um, and from the, uh, from, there's probably about 20 or so of these, uh, let's call them grumps, uh, surrounding you uh, in, a, in a half circle uh, around you. Uh, Do they look they, like they have anything worth stealing? Uh, it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. They're, they, it's hard to tell if they're even wearing anything, honestly. Right now, you see that they're carrying spears, spears. but beyond that, you uh, don't know. Okay. Okay, when, when, when I see that it looks like he's, like, trying to rob one of them, I'm gonna pat him on the shoulder and be like, property's just a social construct, man. You steal whatever you want and give you guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. All um, right. You have guidance, but you I will say that you are being watched right now by about 20 so uh, grumps. I'm tempted to try and pick Jordan's pocket while he's giving me that advice, but uh, <laughs> do what you got to do, man. Yeah, OK. Uh, Dom, grumps are I mean, they're sentient creatures, right? These are not just animals like uh, uh, the creature that Jordan was yeah, just interacting out with. of out of character, out of character. Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. They are sentient creatures. Okay. You, however, get this party has never encountered a grumpf before. Okay. Well, I've never encountered a Cronenbird either, but... Yeah, but okay Cronenbird. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, okay, you know what? Just because it would be an interesting thing to do, I'm going to try and cast Animal Friendship. Aw. Okay. On the like grumps? The you think. On, On the, the grumps? grumps? I, I don't know what these things are. Great, yeah. Uh, uh, do you have to roll anything for that? Uh, so... If the beast's intelligence is four or higher, the spell fails. Uh, so I imagine him trying to do some sort of... Uh, it's got a material component, which is a morsel of food. So I imagine him producing something from a pack and saying something like that kind of sing-songy and presenting it to them. Uh-huh. And then, since I'm assuming their intelligence and, is four or higher, and, they're just... Yeah, you do that. So you hold up this this morsel of food, and one of the grumps kind of parts the ways of the others, and he's slightly larger. He's got a bit of gray in his goatee, and he is not carrying a spear, but he he has a, a an air of of impressiveness about him, and he uh, floats up to you and uh, comes and sniffs the food and says, "What? What? You want me to eat this?" Oh. I, because I don't eat. I don't eat this stuff. I don't eat stuff from strangers. Mm, Sorry. Uh, yeah. My name is Butt Circle, and uh, you are on uh, Sega Genesis. Oh, cool. That sounds cool. nice. Is there good? Is there good food here? Well met, Butt this Circle. Food, good. We're, well, we're always in. Okay. In Wait, okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, all right. In search of good food. Wait. Hey, yeah, guys, I, I like guys, the you getting it. drop the spears. Okay, no, it's another group. Yep, it's another group. Okay, and he uh, uh, he uh, turns another? and they, they drop all of their spears. And he says, okay, listen, I, okay. Let me uh, speed run you kind of through things that are going on right now, okay? Okay, um, tight, yeah. Uh, you came here from another planet. Uh, you were transported here by what we are terming the Tea Party, uh, just because they take the appearance of large teacups, uh, and uh, they are trying to steal a branding problem. They're trying to steal our <laughs> dire crumpets. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's kind of where we are coming and, uh, from, and uh, we're hoping that you will, instead of fighting us, uh, will instead help us. 
Uh, you know, and then, like, I don't know, we could figure out how to send you back or something like that. Well, I think we should definitely help. We don't want them to flump out of school, so... Uh. Yeah. What do you have to pay wait, us? I, wait, hold on, hold on. Was we don't that work a for exposure? Hold on. Was that a flub joke? Are you <laughs> no, making no. fun of me? <laughs> Not at all. Oh, don't, okay. don't get grumpy about it. it it's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we'll help you. We'll help you. We want to help, right, guys? Yeah, but I need to know what a dire crumb is. Is that is that like a dinner roll? Like what? what oh are we my God! About? You people oh, yeah, and you I, wanting I to eat roll. bread things. What is with you people? Carbs and, uh, are king. And he uh, delicious. He pulls up uh, a tendril to his mouth and he whistles, and you hear a whinny off in the distance and. Uh, uh, cresting majestically over the grumps is a large, probably eight foot in diameter crumpet that is wow. uh, probably, yeah, a pretty, uh, definitely the largest crumpet you've ever seen. Uh, in addition to that, you don't see any eyes or anything on this crumpet, but you do see a a large gaping mouth with sharp incisors and what you could only guess is either jam or blood around that mouth uh and it it flies over the grumps and comes and rests in a floating uh semicircle around butt circle um and uh butt circle reaches a tentacle up and and uh gently caresses uh uh his his uh dire crumpet companions um, side essentially. This is uh, this is Roshan and the king of the dire crumpets, and and he is my friend. We were bonded when we were young, and I couldn't bear to leave him. Yada yada yada. Can you help us so that they don't take more of our dire crumpets away? I um, say I think we should. We should always help people in need, right, guys? Hey, you always say that. I am happy to help, but I also feel like you might be my new god. So <laughs> I worship you, King. Whoa, 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 whoa. Roshannon. Uh, Wait, you worship him? No. He's a, no, 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 no. He's a dire crumpet. I mean, what? I don't know what you're. Okay. Let's not let's not Weird. start worshiping fake gods here. Let's. I'm uh, overwhelmed uh, and compelled right now. Overwhelmed. I mean, a god is just a source no. of inspiration. I mean, I, I I get it. It makes sense. Hey, big crumpet dude, you are like I like that you don't have eyes and stuff, but you're still like doing fine. And he kind of holds out dragon fist bump. I don't dude. think flaky pastry should be followed as gods. I mean, oh. you know. I'm sorry, Hard but I think disagree. that's the only thing that should be followed as gods. Uh. Quite honestly. <laughs> I don't know. My last. <laughs> you, you people in pastries. You love pastries. I don't get it. I we last followed a hard tack family. You know, like uh, people of hard tack eaters. I don't think that fluffy pastry should be our our religious center. Look, I prefer a flaky crust. I like a croissant. We're right. just a really food motivated group, and I think that's like well established. At this yeah, point. I, I gotta say, the Lutheran streak that's going through you guys right now is kind of scaring me. Where the church <laughs> needs everyone to kind of stay within tradition, okay? <laughs> I worship like dreams and trees, though, so. Oh, uh, dreams are everything. I dream of a crumpet this size. I cannot <laughs> believe it is in front of me. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'd worship I'd that. Yeah. Chat, I will remind you that we have two, uh, currently two uh, straw polls that are up right now um, that you can answer. And uh, uh, there we go. So uh, mods, will you post those two into chat uh, when you get a second? Um, Butt Circle looks at all of you. He uh, a, a tentacled arm uh, uh, touches your uh, fist bump. Um, yeah. And and it, no, he doesn't fist bump you. He just slowly lowers your your fist. Uh, oh no, that counts though. I don't know if it counts. <laughs> it definitely I, does. I, no, I don't think it does. No, uh, that counts. You fist bump me, man. No, I was putting your hand down. It doesn't count. No, that sure, was a sure. it was a gentle fist bump. I saw it. Yeah. Fine. Um. Anyway, listen. Uh, if. You help us, we'll, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll give you as much bread as you want, right? That's what you people like? You like bread? Right. We'll give you as yeah, much bread as you want, and we'll, uh, we'll send you home, okay? How's that? Does that okay, work? Yeah. 
Yeah, bread like, and a trip yeah. home. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. A what lot kind of bread. Of bread? I I mean I don't know what kind of bread do you want. Hey, like, and, is it good and, sourdough uh, or something like that. Sourdough. Wait, or? Hold on. If you don't eat bread, butt circle, what do you eat? Uh, we eat uh, adventurers. Skin. Oh, cool. We're adventurers. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we're... we eat your stuff, and you eat us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean. Yeah. We're more of a supper club than adventurers, really. I mean, at that point, we really we would be the supper club. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I get could it. Make a club sandwich. That's yeah. good, artist. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Circle of life. Nice. Uh, well, anyway, do you want to. Uh... Butt circle of life. <laughs> Listen, okay. okay. And what we need butt to circle do moves here. really quick onto you, Terry. <laughs> right in your face. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> I'm right, serious right, right now. No, no, yes. no, 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 Why? no, 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 I think you have the most innovative name I've ever heard in my life. And I'm also very honored that you would even ask us to help. You don't really know us, but you are requesting our services. And it's almost like how we started together in the first place is it was, we were having a meal and all of a sudden we were on an adventure. And I feel like the same thing's happening now. And I feel like it is a full circle of life, but the circle continues. Hmm. Nice shades. I, in mm -hmm. addition to the, or, or maybe in place of whatever bread substances you offer us, I would like to be paid in your most uh, favorite popular song of your people. I would like to learn that song. Um. Hold on. I had a little bit of adventure <laughs> stuck in my. Um, it was a goblin. Don't worry about it. Oh, cool. Well, that's that's fine. Wow. Just wow. FYI, I'm a green dragon, so I'm poisonous, so don't eat me. But, like, I'd get it if you tried. I mean, we're kind of immune to that stuff, but. Oh, fun. Cool, cool. Yeah, okay, so. so hmm? You normally eat people like us, but we're going to help you out, and you're promising not to eat us. I mean, that's the Are general you? idea, yeah. We do not taste like chicken, I promise. What's chicken? Exactly. Oh, you gotta try it, man. It's, it's great. I mean, do you taste like people? Probably. Well, I, I taste. Half no, I'm a I'm a dwarf, so no, I don't taste like people. <laughs> I mean, wow. you are a people, I think. I yes. Like yeah, people. So, guys, do we trust human. this? Do we do we trust this? Do I need to do like an insight check or if make sure we can trust oh. this guy? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. Do you want to huddle? You want a group huddle? Let me while our planet's being destroyed fine fine and he will back up back away from you if you want to talk amongst yourselves Guys. thank you mr butthole that circle that circle are you oh, are you trying are, are you trying to oh, are you trying oh, to start oh. something okay no 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 we're fine okay, so we're miz, i don't know lot, whatever circle a lot of crazy crap together this this is new I, mm. I don't have any data on this i would very much like to go home so Let's help Butt Circle and uh, whomever, just, whatever they need to do. I'm a little concerned about this eating adventurers thing. I'd like to try a spell to see if I can get the truth out of this guy. Hey, if that's what you're feeling, then you got it, man. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind knowing the truth. That was kind of my next instinct was to figure out, maybe get some insight on this guy. So I, I, I support that. You know, yeah. we always love your spells. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, when you're good at something and you enjoy it, then that's that's what you should do. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. So so look. Um, uh, uh, I can't read what I wrote Terry's name as. The oh, that's okay. It's Ralrus. 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 See beyond. Never mind. That is what it says. <laughs> Ralrus. <laughs> I was like, that can't be right. Uh, it's it's correct. We had a whole bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Rawrus. Yeah, I, I remember the song now. It was good. Uh, so look, keep a, keep an eye over my shoulder and see see if you can uh, you know get any insight into how this goes. Absolutely, uh, I will roll for insight right behind you while you're doing your spell. All right, uh, Rick, uh, are you going to uh, continue to try to pickpocket either Jordan and or one of the Grumps? Um, if do the Grumps have pockets? Oh, I've got pockets. Uh, it's hard to tell if the grumps have pockets. Um, you'd have to get a little bit closer to to determine that. But uh, I'm going to advise against just sticking your hands places. 
Huh. You know, that's actually not terrible advice. Um, no, I'm just going to keep an eye on things for now. Okay. Uh, Jason. Yeah, so I want to cast Friends, um, which obviously, you know, is accompanied by a, a, there's a particular theme song that goes with it every time. Oh. Um, I'll be right there for you. you want to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. I'm dead. Sorry. That, okay. Get it together. Um, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to cast friends on uh, on Butt Circle and um, the, oh, I guess I cast it on myself. I don't Yeah. I have advantage on charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice who isn't hostile. So, okay, um, yeah, and I'm just gonna ask him like, uh, so, so look, are you, are you, are you dealing straight with this? Like, what, what's this really all about? I just, I don't want to get eaten at the end of this. So, so you break out of your huddle and you approach Butt Circle and you mm -hmm. ask, you say you don't want to be eaten with this. Uh, okay, listen, he he lays a tentacle on your shoulders. Uh, uh, and he says, listen, I, he gets awfully close and his breath does not smell good. Um, uh, it smells like goblin, honestly. Mm -hmm. He says, listen, I, um, I, uh, let me level with you. Everything I said is true. I don't want you here any more than you want to be here. And if I can get rid of you somehow, that would be great. And honestly, if you could like not attack us, that would be even greater because, you know, we're kind of just floating noodles. We're not that great in a fight, but uh, we can pack a punch when we need to, if we have to. Uh, I hope it doesn't come to that because I like you, right? And he kind of squeezes your shoulders a little bit and kind of a massage, but it's a little, it's a little rough. Mm. Um, and uh, and he goes. Uh, it counts as a fist bump too. No, it doesn't. Ugh. Anyway, no, this is different. This is different. <laughs> anyway, More borderline assault. But you know, <laughs> if, if we can basically get up to this uh, this saucer type thing, we're on our way right now. There's a uh, there's sort of a, a teleporting thing that we can kind of use to that I think will get you up there. Uh, we got some guys working on it. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So, look, we're going to help you out. We'll do the thing. You help us get home and not stab us at the back at the end of this. Not stab you in the back. Right. Uh, or, yeah. or, the or in the front. Or, or the in the front or the side. Or the side or You're not going to stab us It's like us no stabbing, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, no stabbing. Right. For sure. No stabbing. You got it. Right. We will not stab friends. you. We won't stab you at all. We won't use or anything. Attack. It's Anything myth. that stabs. You're what? really emphasizing the fact that you're not going to stab us, but that seems very specific. No well, they're saying that because it was a condition we put up. So yeah, because like, if you're going to attack us later, I'd rather just get into it now, honestly. Listen, you I, help I would rather us. Not. You help. You help us. We help you. That's uh, that's uh, honestly as simple as I can make it. We we have no beef with you, if you don't have a beef with us. I would like to eat some beef. Is there? Oh, oh now you like beef too? Oh my well, God, you great. people! What does beef mean on your world? People, uh, I bet. Oh well, I mean, they're people at that point. They're not beef. Beef is a uh, would be bovine and oh, okay, nature. Good. We don't we don't have those here. This is a whole new world, so we don't have no idea what you guys call beef. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we have we have. Uh, they're they're called uh, uh, frogsh. Froch and their kind of livestock, but uh, but that's that you know that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I don't know why we're talking about livestock. Come on, let's let's uh, let's go up the mountain if you if you don't mind. We'll uh, we can talk All right. more. All right. All right. Hiking trip. <laughs> and uh, uh, Butt Circle uh, leaps onto Roshannon and uh, uh, basically flies up ahead of everybody and uh the other grumps kind of uh they filter back they don't uh the whole group of 20 do not follow you but uh, as you go they sort of drift off on their own uh and until it's just you and butt circle um 
And uh, uh, as you get closer, uh, you start to see uh, what looks like a a medieval village of of uh, one that you might find uh, in in Faerun in uh, near Waterdeep. Uh, Daggerford looks something like this. Uh, uh, Artemis twenty eight fourteen. Thank you very much for that tip. Much appreciated. JTEC77, also, thank you very much for that tip. Thank you all. Uh, I'll reiterate, we are raising money right now for the uh, COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund, which is run by the World Health Organization to try to combat COVID-19 uh, around the world. So thank you very much. 50% of everything we raise is going to that. The other 50% is helping us keep our lights on and keep this channel operating. So thank you very much for all of your support. Yeah, uh, very much appreciated. The we WHO be... being the Doctors Who, I feel is not so enough. <laughs> <laughs> I never mm. thought of it that way, Jason. That's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as you uh, are approaching what looks to be a village of 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 any kind that you might see. Um, back home and uh uh you see grumps kind of uh milling about some some are you see one grump who has uh in his tentacles a large plat of uh of baked goods uh of all different kinds uh they and they look delicious honestly they look very very good um and uh uh uh, that grump moves on and and goes into a building, and uh, other grumps are kind of going back and forth. Uh, and you see three grumps in the middle of town, uh, standing next to a fountain. And th the fountain again, this this looks like the fountain that you saw initially when you appeared uh, at the base of the mountain. It looks very similar. It's a similar size and shape, and and whatever is inside it looks uh, looks very similar. Can I do a, a survival check to see if that's okay to consume? You want to go up to the up to the the fountain, then? Yeah, it's kind of on our way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. passing it essentially. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a survival roll. Okay, this is this is my highest skill check. I've been dying to use it. Nice. Uh, that's a nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, you. Uh, Take a look at it and you smell it and it smells very much like alcohol. You would say that this is probably a ale of some kind, a mm. beer maybe. Uh, mm. It is. It is uh, certainly certainly has a the pungent a pungent alcoholic uh, scent to it. However, uh, that there's enough of that that almost makes it feel like it could be dangerous. But hey, alcohol is a poison. Uh, so it could just be, you know, very strong. You don't, you're not quite mm -hmm. certain. Is, it, is anyone else in the town, like, are, are there buckets here? Are people drinking from it? Is it just statuary? Uh, it, it looks to be just kind of statuary. No one is drinking from it. No one yeah. is, uh, no one is, is necessarily around it. Uh, the gig, this, this is ale for sure. I, I don't know why. I mean, it smells good. But oh well, is it rude can... to drink out of it? I mean, I feel like we've come all this way who, to not who are you try. Asking? It seems like it would be a crime. Um, my group, not oh, not okay, not butt, butt circle. circle. Okay. <laughs> hey, like I, I say, like we'll never know if we don't try, right? Right, like you know, seize the day and all that. Like uh, factually yeah. correct opportunity. Sure, right behind you. All Look, right. I'm down for new experiences, and I, I guess I'll, I'll take a cup of, or I'll cut my hands and and take a sip of the the ale water. Uh, who who is taking a drink of the ale water? Three, the three of you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um. Oh, so you. Four. Sure. I'll four? do it. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Uh, they trick them into doing it I, for I, me. I, yeah, I guess I. Don't want to be uncool. <laughs> so, 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 sure. so, one of us. Jason, uh, Far identified this to everyone, and everyone's all like, "Ooh, beer!" And you're like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna do that." Um, <laughs> yep. No, no, I, I want to see what happens. That's, okay, that's it, my entire motivation. <laughs> Great. So you, uh, you, uh, you all go down and you cup, you cup this in, and you take a sip, and it is 
probably the most disgusting thing you have ever tasted. Uh, it does not taste good, uh, but there's definitely, you you get a little hint of an alcoholic uh, buzz from it. Uh, everybody, roll me a constitution saving throw. Everybody? Uh, not you. Only okay. people who drank. I got a 14. 18. 11. 12. 20. 20. Okay. Uh, Wes and Michael, uh, you feel strange, but uh, this kind of goes through you uh, relatively quickly, uh, and you all get a permanent plus one to your strength. Ooh. You too. Nice. Uh, Jordan, you got a 14? Yeah. Uh, you get the impression that you should not have done this. Uh, you get a plus one to your wisdom. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Uh, Rick, what did you get? Eleven. And Terry, you got twelve? Yes. So, uh, you two both, um, sip, and you think about it, and, yeah, this actually... This actually kind of feels okay. Kind of feels okay, and your dexterity goes up by one. Ooh. Ooh. But that's all meta knowledge. <laughs> only Jordan is the only one who's like, that probably, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that, that, that was a crappy idea. And, and the minute you all finish drinking from this and, and having your moments, Butt Circle turns around and is like, oh my god. God, why, why, why are you compelled to drink that? I thought it was beer. It's a fountain in the middle of the town. Yeah, you drink out of fountain. It's oh, a delicious. urinal. Okay, all right, but like now we've got that experience, you know, and like having drank from that urinal. Do like you now, just go to random towns else. and drink out of fountains? Why are you putting a yeah. urinal in the shape of a well in the middle of the town? That's wild. Why? A real lesson in pure because pressure here. everyone needs to uh, go to the bathroom somewhere. So you. I mean, I'm sorry if you man. don't if you don't pee in a communal urinal in your town, but that's what we do. Uh, now that's uh, we we, uh, we like privacy where we're from. Uh, uh, oh. Usually sometimes you need a little. Kind of... Sometimes you need alone time. You know. They actually do it in my town. Oh. Well. Yeah, well, uh, I, I'm just going to give you a piece of, of worldly wisdom that maybe you can use uh, in the future. Use it or not, uh, I don't know. But hey, maybe don't drink uh, strange ale-smelling water out of fountains. Because okay, I mean, we'll take that advice under consideration for sure. You know, that's also yeah. a sacred yeah, yeah, fountain. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, a sacred I, fountain. I will oh, say, cool. So no, are, we my like friends. Blessed? are we yeah. blessed now? They are absolutely going to do this again, just so you know. Yeah, so wait, you guys pee in a sacred fountain? Yeah. That seems like blasphemous, but like, I worship trees, so who knows? Well, I mean, they And people pee people. on trees all the time. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't see my face, but I'm not smiling. <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you, Terry. Yeah. That was wonderful. <laughs> no problem. <sighs> Fine. Well, can we continue on now? Have you have you taken your fill of our urine? Holy water? Yeah, yeah. I feel... Yeah, we got it. We got. It. We're good. I feel kind of strong now. You know, maybe just a bit more. No, that was a bad idea the first time. <laughs> uh, and he he uh, introduces you to. Um, uh, to three other uh, uh, grumps who look um, almost you might if you had to to term it you might say they looked kind of nebbish uh, and these are um, this is my uh, science council and uh, they've been working on this and he kind of presents to you he unveils with his uh, tendril 
a uh, what looks like a massive glowing purple pentagram in the ground with strange symbols around it. Uh, so this is the uh, teleportation platform, and you just step on this, and it's going to send you up into the saucer, and you can uh, you know do your thing up there. All right. You said it was a science advisor. I didn't think Grump uh, followed science. I, that uh, doesn't make yeah. No, sense. I mean that's all we follow. Okay, that looks yeah. more like magic okay. to me. No, this is science. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you draw these symbols and stuff, stuff happens. Like, it's it's proven fact. Like, it always happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what they say. Any sufficiently rudimentary magic... I don't know. <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to flip it up, but, like, I, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I know where you're going with it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess uh, you guys are too, uh, you know, primitive to understand what, uh, what it, the difference between magic and science. But, yeah, no, this is clearly scientific. Yeah. Hey, butt circle and... Um, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, er Eraturum goes to me and like, thank you for leading us here, man. Whatever it is you do, and I kind of reach my hands out and give him what I think is a shoulder, shoulder massage, I hope you, like, do it well. Hey, and cast uh, guidance on butt circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what does that do? What is, what, what, what? Just next time he does a, a skill, he can add a d4. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Butt circle. D4. Okay, great. Got it. Uh, okay, so uh, if you could just uh, step onto the platform and we will begin the procedure. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'll... I... What the hell? Do it. Yeah, me too. Yep. Every, everyone stepping onto the uh, teleportation platform? Why the, the hell not? Why the hell not? I guess... Yeah, where else are we gonna go? Does it look right. like a teleportation I spell? Mean, uh, give me an Arcana uh, oh, check. As a as a dwarf with a negative one wisdom, mm -hmm. you know. How's it? How's a ten? Do you? Uh, I mean, this looks about as much like a teleportation spell <laughs> as you know. All right. Yeah, this looks legit. I'm in. Yeah. I mean, you all know what, what Thar did with the fountain. Uh, Thar knew exactly what the fountain was, and you all drank from it. So Thar feels this is legitimate as well. Yep. Nice. Uh, I think I should. I feel like we can just trust him. I, yeah. I feel really good right now. I feel, mm -hmm. you know, alive. Yeah, me still. Too. So that's too. good. Yeah. As long as we're still alive, I guess that's good, right? Yeah, that's great. totally. Yeah. Uh, and probably, like, we're still good if just most oh. of us are alive, honestly. Yeah. yeah, actually, you know? if I if I can real quick in the the minute or so while we're all sort of looking at the circle, I'm gonna give a little bit of a pep talk that I don't know how much I can actually deliver, but <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> you know look we're like uh, this this club has become like a family, you know, and and we get it done and and we we do the work and we don't get killed by you know psychotic crumpets at the end and oh my god that kid is cute I know. It's uh, really cute. Oh. <laughs> And uh, you know we we do it for each other, and and I just I want you to remember we're we're in this together, and that's that's why we're here. And uh, uh, you, you know just um, we'll, we'll stick together. I I believe in you, and uh, I'm I'm gonna cast motivational speech. <laughs> Is that a spell? <laughs> uh, hey, you put it on my sheet. <laughs> yep. I, I feel motivated, like, even if the spell doesn't work. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's see, for the duration, for an hour, uh, you, you, you all have, um, the five of you have five temporary hit points and advantage on wisdom saving throws. Nice. Um, and if you are hit by an attack, you have advantage on the next attack roll you make. Nice. And then... Uh, that effect ends when you lose all your temporary hit points. How many did we have again? Five. Five. Got it. Okay. Um, you have made note of all of that. Uh, um, 
Sorry, okay, I was caught up with this music. It's so dramatic. You guys probably can't hear it, but chat can. Anyway, no, uh, can't. it's beautiful. Uh, so you all step onto the platform and the, uh, three grumps, uh, the three sort of science, uh, council grumps move around and start chanting, um, in a very deliberate way. And butt circle also, uh, uh, proceeds to, uh, uh, mutter some, some, um, strange language, uh, under his breath. And as they do, the purple glows more and more. And, uh, you start feeling a, a sensation, not unlike you felt, um, when you were being, uh, uh, transported through space and time to Sega Genesis. But, Instead of the blue light beams that were around you, uh, it's it's sort of a yellow uh, a yellow glow that 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 uh, encapsulates you, and uh, you can feel your body. You have that sort of almost uh, feeling that you are separating mind from body as you are being taken up and out and away. And uh, in there, yeah, and you find yourself. Uh, on the deck of the saucer, you are, you are on top of the saucer, uh, right now, and, um, the, the yellow glow goes away, and, uh, Butt Circle is with you, uh, but, uh, you are not, uh, seeing, uh, necessarily where you need to go. It's almost like a completely smooth flat surface. It is so large that uh, there, there, the perception when you are far away, you could see a curvature to it. But now that you're on it, uh, you can see that that is is almost imperceptibly, uh, imperceptibly curved. Yeah. Everyone, give me a uh, perception check. Would Would you say this saucer is flying? Yes. Hmm. Yes, I see. Five. Eighteen. That was, that was pretty saucy, Jason. Thank you. Oh, man, I'm perceptive as hell. I am not very perceptive. That is a 12. I'm going to use an inspiration, though, because I didn't roll well. I also got a 12. All right. I got a 12. <laughs> That's three. <laughs> I got 16. Uh, okay. Uh, anybody over 10, uh, oh, use... Yay you see that there is a um, uh, ahead of you what looks like it could be a hatch. Uh, it, it's s sort of two doors that are in the top of the saucer uh, that, that have uh, some sort of mechanism that is keeping them closed. Hmm. Mm. Uh, anyone have a, an idea to open these doors? The wind uh, is gusting know, around you. If it was an animal or something, I could talk to it, but... Wait, hold on. I'm going to cast Find Traps. Because uh, that seems like a good idea, maybe. Um, so you sense the presence of any traps in range that is within the line of sight. Uh, that's yada, good yada. Uh, Does that sound okay, Dom? Yeah, that's great. This is only going to tell us if a trap's there, not how to fix it. So, uh, still, I knew I liked um, this guy. I cast it 120 feet uh, range. So what's what's up? Uh, the mechanism and the doors do not appear to be trapped. Can I pick the lock? I have thieves tools. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you you get close to the mechanism and uh, give me a sleight of hand. As he's uh, uh, going with, there, with I kind advantage. of put my hands on Phantom George's shoulders. And I'm just like, <laughs> hey, man. That lock ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> you're gonna do so good. You're it's like, like it's already picked because you're on it. You're like guys. Tony Shalhoub's character in Galaxy Quest. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah. Oh, Galaxy Quest. Yeah. Um, so okay, what do I have? I have plus eight, so that's twenty. Twenty. Nice. Great. Okay. Yeah. So you look at this mechanism, and it's it's. Uh, it's strange. It doesn't look like something that you've experienced back home, but it is uh, something that you're able to find some entrances to and get your your picks uh, in there. And you are able to uh, deftly start picking it apart. And as you go, latches are sort of 
uncoupling uh, as you go, and eventually the whole mechanism just with a with a burst of 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 air uh, uh, uncouples from the door and and lifts over, and then the doors sort of like uh, poof up a little bit to show that they are now unlocked. You you want to learn that on YouTube? <laughs> nice. Wow. So now you can uh, you can lift the the uh, the locks if you wish and or you lift the doors up and 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 go down in. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Right. Great. Right. Hey, now Bud Circle, you're expecting trouble in here, right? You, th these folks are causing you problems. Yeah. No, I mean this is you know like the big the big deal. Like uh, I don't know. I mean we kind of ran into like two giant teacups before. And uh, uh, and one tough customer named Mr. Roper, but uh, you know we won't go into that. Mr. But anyway, Roper? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Roper. You spin those cups around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks, Santos eighty for that for that uh, uh, wonderful wonderful. Oh, yeah, totally tip. Cool. Lord of the Rankings. <laughs> yes. I just pictured Butt Circle turning to the camera. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's exactly what happens in the movie of Return to Planet Sega Genesis starring Charles Heston. <laughs> you blew it up. <laughs> you bastards. You blew it all to hell. You damn dirty crumpets. <laughs> <laughs> um, anywho. Um, uh, yeah, so... But Circle says, "Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's definitely something's got to be down there. I don't, I don't know what, but you know, what? You want me to float down first? Mm. You want me to float down? Yeah, ideally. Okay. Uh, so you open the doors, and uh, But Circle kind of takes a look at each of you, and he's like, you know what? Uh, I know we haven't been doing this for a long time, but uh, you know, uh, hey, it's 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 been something. All right, well." Yeah. And he kind of salutes with one of his tendrils, and he goes... Oh, in, and I, in... I fist bump it real quick. <laughs> no, that was a salute! That wasn't... It counts, it counts, man. It touched. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Witnessed. And uh, uh, he dives into into the uh, the abyss, as it were. And, um... Hey, uh... You hear from from beneath. Hey, uh... Yeah, I think, I think everything's... I, uh, I think it's okay. It's, uh, yeah, everything's, everything's looking, uh, I don't see, oh, okay, uh, nope. Uh, this isn't good. This isn't, I'm gonna shut up now. And, uh, you don't hear anything else after that. And there's silence for what feels like an eternity, but it's probably only about 20 seconds long. And, uh... Should we, like, go after him? I'd like more information. Yeah, yeah we, we probably should. I mean, this is like the whole point of the mission. Like, how the hell are we going to get off of this thing? We, we probably got to go in. Like, our weird jellyfish friend could be, like, dead. Uh, that's a good yeah. point. Sure, yeah. he's fine. Uh, <laughs> if, he is, if he is dead, do we get to eat his horse crumpet? Is that how that works? I think so, but, like, I don't, I don't want him to be dead. Possession yeah. is oh, no. nine tenths of the law. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Let's All right, see let's how go this down. Goes. Let's go down. Is everyone armed? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> so you you uh, jump into the abyss, basically. Sure. Why not? Yep. Do it. Great. Into the unknown. Into you the all unknown. die. Uh, okay. Thank you. That was a great session. That was Wonder so fun. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Great job. Bye. Next session. You leap down, uh, and uh, it it doesn't take you a long time to uh, to reach the bottom. It's not a far drop, basically, uh, but uh, you find yourselves within the um, the the saucer, and uh, the the decor is um, unsettling. Uh, some might say it is it's kind of a a uh, a red paisley type uh, wallpaper with some nice white wainscoting around and uh, you see little tiny saucers uh, little little uh, dishes uh, hung on the wall uh, depicting various scenes of mass destruction uh, across uh, worlds and planets that you have never seen before. Creatures being subjugated in front of uh, what look like giant tea cups. And uh, in front of you 
is Butt Circle. Uh, unfortunately, Butt Circle uh, is caught in the grasp of a teacup, a massive teacup with uh, what looks like, if you had to guess, it looks like it has a monocle. It looks like it's wearing a monocle. And it's the handle of the teacup is around uh, uh, Butt Circle's throat, essentially, and it has him in a grip. And um, uh, next to... Uh, next to this, this teacup, uh, looks to be a, uh, a, a large spider. And, um, the teacup addresses you. Oh, hello! Ready for a spot of tea? And you are in a combat. Oh. M's <laughs> fighting words! And... Yes, wait, I am. Wait, we're not getting tea? I mean, That's you could. Think, uh, you could. So, yes, give me... Uh, I, I, I will... think we're just getting steamed. We're going to get Ooh. tea how we always get tea. Through Your violence. violence. <laughs> uh, who has... Uh... We're going to have to team up. <laughs> uh, five like five that. and under. Give me your... Give me your... Uh... Give me your rolls. Twelve. twelve. I got a six. 13, I got a 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. So uh, we have a six, a 12, 13, 17, 18. And what else? Who was six? I was six. Wes, you were 12. Who was 13? Yep. Me. Rick. 17? Jason. Uh, 18. That was Terry. And Michael, what did you get? 19. 19, okay. Great. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, and that, and then... Wow. All right. Not bad. Okay. Uh, Mike, you are up first. Okay. So let's see. As an action, I'm going to cat or use Slayer's Prey on this thing. So um, next time I attack it, it's going to take 1d6 damage, and I'm going to move in to close the distance between it and myself since I'm using my two weapons. Okay. And uh, for me. Okay. Uh, Terry. All right. I am going to cast, um, I got a spirit, I have a spiritual weapon. Um, since I'm a cleric, I've never played a cleric, so this is very exciting. Um, I create a floating spectral weapon within range that lasts for the duration or until I cast the spell again. So I want to um, give us some protection for this fight, basically. Uh, na -na 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 -na. Ooh, um, that's cool. I rolled a 19. Um, plus, I get a bonus action, I think. So I also have a freaking, uh, I believe I have a crossbow. I do. I got a little crossbow. So I'm going to throw that at this guy. No. I mean, you could shoot the crossbow. You yeah, don't have to throw yeah, shoot it. it. I mean, not throw it. Sorry, I'm used yeah. to throwing things, clearly. <laughs> I'm going to shoot it. Um, what are you shooting at right now? At the tea teacup thing, right? That's okay. holding our friend, right? Okay. There's also a, there's also a large spider, so I just want to make sure. Ooh, I don't like spiders either. But the teacup's got our friend in a chokehold, right? Yes. So I want to make sure we're able to get them out of that chokehold. Um, do 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 do. So, um, and that's an eighteen to hit. The teacup. Yeah. Uh, that is a hit. All right, great. So, roll some damage. Uh, not a hell of a lot of damage on that one. That is just a uh, two. Two. Uh, okay. Um, it uh, it you you definitely hit it, but it it seems like it the the bolt the crossbow bolt just kind of like tings off of the uh 
the the uh, carapace, I guess maybe of the teacup, um, and yeah, you hit it though. You definitely hit it. Cool. I was trying to get a spot of tea. Mm mm. I see. Uh, okay, Jason. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to um, uh, speak to the spider in a sort of stream of consciousness, uh, the, you know, performance piece mm -hmm. um, as I cast in thrall, and um, it's going to have to save versus uh, do. I think it's a wisdom save. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. The spider needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 13. Yep, that's going to do it. Uh, so, on a failed save... I don't know, that's a succeeded save. So, um... Hmm, what does this do? Apparently, nothing. It has, oh, it would have had advantage anyway. Oh, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I, I give this spider a piece of my mind as I point my sword at it. And so okay. I, I walk towards the spider just with, with the, yeah, listen, you, <laughs> you ought, you ought not have done this. Yeah, you tell it. Yeah. Uh, okay, good, good. Um, <laughs> Rick. Uh, um, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to shoot at something with my crossbow. Um, have we hit either of them yet? Yes, uh, uh, a little Terry, slightly, ever so slightly. Yeah, Terry, ever so slightly hit hit the. I could have done more. I realized I had I had more dice to do more damage. This is always my life. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm gonna I'm Next gonna shoot. Time. I'll shoot at the uh, teacup with my uh, crossbow. Great. Time to tee off on this guy. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Um, okay. See, because he's, he, no, he I liked up that it. joke nicely, though. I was here for that. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, oh. Thank you, thank you, Terry. Uh, yeah, plus four, plus four. 16? 16 does not hit. So you, <sighs> the bolt goes f whizzing past the, the teacup and uh, just bounces off the side of the well, uh, the hallway. I want to use my cunning action now to uh, duck into hiding somewhere. Okay. Um, there's not really a place to hide necessarily. You're kind of in a hallway, but I will say that there's like a... Um, uh, uh, like kind of a, a corner table, I guess, uh, uh, with, you know, has one of those nice doilies on it and, um, some, a nice vase and things. Uh, and so you kind of are, are crouching behind that. It'll, it will give you some cover and stuff. So you're putting you're... myself in like the shape of the vase. And just, like, yeah. right there, right there. <laughs> great. Great. Um, Wes. I am going to do as a bonus action to cast, um, searing smite at second level, which gives me a, a bonus to my damage if I hit, and I'm going to go after the teacup. I just, like, start running towards it. Let's see what I get. I'm going to use inspiration because that was a three. It's going to be one of those yeah. days. Yeah. That's not much better. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all together, I got a, a, a whopping eight. So I don't think I hit, but searing smite lasts for up to a minute. So, okay, yeah, no, Next you. Time. That's against uh, the AC then. Yeah, that's against yeah. AC. No, so I missed. Yeah. That's a, yeah, you missed. Unfortunately, <laughs> it was a great run, but just yeah. totally did no, stick the land. I think you did well anyway. Like I was still impressed. Uh, okay. Uh, it is now the spider's turn, and, uh, you see the spider Great. just bamf out of existence. Um, oh, no. and then oh, man. behind you, a, uh, spider appears, and, oh. uh, it is going to take a bite out of, I'm rolling, a, I'm rolling a six. Yes, is one of you named Crime? It could be. Yeah, it's uh, me. Wes, this is on you. Oh. It's uh, not like I'm right next to them or anything. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, uh, does a uh, 10 hit? Uh, no, it does not, actually. Okay. Uh, let me see if there's anything. 
Uh, yeah, no. Okay, so he missed. So, all right, yeah. So uh, he tries to take a bite out of you, and uh, it does not, does not, is not able to do that. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, next up is the teacup. Oh, spot of bother. I didn't quite expect you to put up a fight. I thought you would just lay down your weapons, but... All right, fine. So be it. And, uh... He begins to, uh... Speak to you all. Um, give me a wisdom saving throw. DC 17. Oh, crap. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> No. Yeah, I got a dirty 20. Dirty 20, nice, nice. <clears throat> 14. Did, 14. Wes, you well, didn't make it. Rick didn't I, make I, it. I, yeah, Terry? No, I, I, was, I got a 13. Uh-huh. Jordan? I got a oh. 23. Can I use inspiration? Can I? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else want to use inspiration on this? Yeah, actually, That's I do. a dirty 20. Okay. Okay, anyone who did not make it, uh, you are now charmed. Uh, you cannot attack the teacup or target the teacup with any harmful abilities or magical effects. Uh, and your speed is zero. You cannot move. Um... Wait, uh, Dom, sorry, yeah. I have, this is my fan ancestry, I actually have advantage on saving throws against being charmed, so can I roll again? Sure, yeah. 19. Nice, Ooh. okay. Yay! Great. So, I think that's Rick and Wes both succumbed to this then? Yes, absolutely. Yay. Okay, so your your forward march upon uh, upon uh, the teacup has been halted, and uh, you do not wish it harm at all. Uh, and this seems pretty severe. Uh, this thing has a captivating presence. It seems you're magnificent. Oh my God, <laughs> what a teacup! <laughs> Never seen such a teacup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, JP. Okay, um, so I, I, I've got a quick question that might change what I do this turn. Do you have the stats for, like, any wild shape animals? Uh, I, I can. I mean, name me, a, name me an animal. I don't know oh. what options you have to a wild shape. Uh, it's anything that's, like, a half CR. Um... Well, not a flump, because that's a quarter CR. Mm. Um, oh, well, I could, I could do that, because that's less. <laughs> Could I be like a giant frog or something? I think a Let's wolf see. is half CR. I was just thinking something that could eat the spider. <laughs> uh, an, an, an ape? A badger? A baboon? Ooh. Uh, a, a, baboon. Boar? a boar? Okay, I, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll, I'll figure one out oh, for okay. something else. Okay. But instead, uh, so because the, the tea is like charming people, it'd be like, Hey, there's nothing worse than cold tea. And I'll use uh, <laughs> produce flame, which goes and makes a little flame that uh, I, I normally use for lighting sage and other things. Mm -hmm. And I go, yeah, and just throw the flame. No, oh, nice. Cold, heartless tea. <laughs> Hopefully to warm its heart and its tea. Um, okay. What? Uh, do I roll anything? You roll something? I roll. Who talks? You talk? You talk? I got a dirty 20. Uh, that hits. Hooray! I do 2d8 damage. 2d8 fire damage. I don't know if that makes a difference. Seven. Um, eight. It's eight fire damage. Well, he takes half of that because he is hot tea. So, no! Um, he, looked, he was <laughs> cold-hearted, though. I, I know. It seemed like it, but... Uh, I, uh, I'm pretty sure he was iced tea. I don't. <laughs> no, Ice T was the first session. Um, <laughs> uh, they fought Throat Coat last session. This session, I hope you are going to be able to tell soon. Um, he is hot, and he speaks with a posh British accent. So you 
put it together. Okay, moving on. Uh, we back to the top of the order, Michael. Okay, so I actually I didn't realize that the thing that I did last run was a bonus action, so I could have moved and attacked and oh. done that. So well, Culpa, okay. Sick. So um, now I'm just going to ha um, ha. This uh, this Earl, if you will, this this gray Earl, um, twice. Uh, the first one is 14. Does that hit? Sorry, what are you doing exactly? All right. <laughs> I was being too clever by half. Um, I'm just going to use two weapon fighting with both of my short swords to try and chip his cup. Uh, okay, you need to make a DC 17 wisdom saving throw before you do this. Oh, do I now? You do. Well, I don't do that. Okay, you do do something, though. You... You are, are incensed, and you want to destroy this teacup, but you feel uh, almost uh, insatiable rage against this, a, a bloodlust, if you will, uh, and uh, you, will, uh, you will attack uh, the teacup, which is the closest thing to you, or is it butt circle? I'm going to roll a d6. On a 1 to 3, you attack the teacup. On a no, four don't to attack the charming teacup. Four to so six. <laughs> you attack butt circle. Exactly. You hear from your comrades. That's a six. So that is butt circle, I'm afraid. Uh, oh, no. You immediately take the attack action. You make one melee attack against butt circle. Um, so uh, 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 give me a, a attack on butt circle. Okay, uh, you want me to roll a new one? Uh, we can we can use we can use that. Uh, we can use okay. that. Uh, uh, that was a fourteen, you said. Yeah. Uh, that hits. Give me damage. All right. Uh, that's seven. It's a seven. That's a seven damage. Yep. Uh, it's a good thing grumps have more hit points than their than their cousins, the flumps. Um, right. <laughs> uh, butt circles like I told you we're in this together. Ow, that really hurt. And uh, uh, you just see squirting out of it is that brackish uh, uh, fluid that you saw coming uh, that was in the um, uh, uh, fountain. The sacred fountain is just uh, kind of spewing out of his body right now. Uh, he does not look good. Too many jokes. All right, it said pee or blood. So yeah. you you bleed pee? That's weird. Hey, you bleed blood. That's weird. Oh, you're right, man. That's really <laughs> weird. Oh, dude. Okay, I right yes, you are in this uh, teacup's uh, aura of bloodlust. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, that was my action, so I can't really move unless I provoke an opportunity attack. And I feel like I'm caught up in bloodlust, so I'm just there screaming with my wonderful bone structure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Uh, okay. Um, Terry, you're up. All right. Um, all right. Oh, man. It's spider or cup? Spider or cup? Cup. Spider, spider, spider? Don't, yeah, no, don't attack that cup. No, why do you? Why are you into the? I feel like you're into the cup. No, you, well, I mean, we're maybe we're, a little. We're, we're trying. <laughs> you like I mean, the look, cup? It's a nice yeah. cup, but like these two guys in this cup, evil. I don't look, get it. I hate it. Look at the it. monocle. Look at, I mean, a cup with a monocle. How could you not love that? I mean, come you know on. what? I don't trust a thing with a monocle. Sometimes it's 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 crazy. I just I don't feel get like they're it. really only like focused on one thing. I really feel like they should be able to. You get, <laughs> need to give a monocle of trust here, okay? Okay. No, no. Just a wow, little. did we just dad off? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, Terry's was good. Wes was bad. We can have judgment about these types of things. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, cool. So I'm gonna shoot my uh, shoot my bow at the tea cup because I don't trust it. I don't like my friends that are really into this freaking cup. It's really weird. Um, cool. Um, is a 21 hit? Ha, it does, right? The okay, teacup? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are, oh, you're attacking the teacup, uh, wait, yeah. uh, melee? Uh, 
It is just short range or whatever. Your no. crossbow? You're using your crossbow yeah, again? Crossbow. Yeah, I'm shooting him. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. What, uh, what did you get? I got, um, a 21. Uh, yeah, that hits. Better. I would hope so, right? <laughs> um, you'd be four. surprised. Yeah, you never know sometimes. A uh, four? Mm hmm. Wow. Uh, did you roll all of your dice this time? Hold on, and then. Uh, <laughs> Shade. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Um, with additional dice, that's that's five. <laughs> okay. Uh, he takes half damage. Okay. That's He's not great. Amazingly, still up, but you have done the most damage by far. Uh, that's quite sad. Uh, okay. Um, did you Can want we get to the move? Chip yet? Not yet. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to get a little bit closer. I want to get a little closer so I can try to, like, get in between him and, and our friends over here. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, I move closer. Great. Uh, okay. Uh, Jason. Okay. You, uh, you, trusting that yeah. the, uh, so the spider is nearby, right? Uh, yeah, the spider, the spider just tried to bite, uh, Wes, just tried to bite Bardis. Yeah, I assume it did that because it was sufficiently cowed by my talking to. Um, so I'm gonna go after the spider using my um, longsword two-handed. Okay. And um, we'll see what happens. Great. Um, how about a 13 to hit the spider? A 13 to hit the spider. Uh, that just hits, yes. Okay, that is, um, oh yeah, I have strength bonus. Uh, that's 10 damage. Nice. A very a very beefy bard. I like a beefy bard. Beefy bard. Uh, now yeah. from Chef Boyardee. What's for dinner? Beefy <laughs> bardee. Uh, great. Good That's job. Uh, let's see, Rick. You are charmed at present. Um, you unfortunately uh, cannot do anything uh, right now. What? Can I not attack the spider also? Uh, well, you, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, but your speed is zero. So, uh, okay. I'll say it's, I say it's adjacent to you. Sure. Yeah. You can try to attack the spider. Well, I, I got a crossbow, so, great. um, I'm just going to shoot it with the crossbow again. Uh, uh, 15, 19. Uh, to hit the spider, yes. 19 hits. All right. And Ooh. crossbow does, what, 1d6 piercing? Uh, did I? Okay, I was hidden when I had that. So do I have advantage? Because once per turn, I can deal an extra 3d6 damage to a creature I hit with an attack with a ranged weapon if I have advantage. Um, yeah, because you were popping out of, of behind that table. Sure, I'll give it to you. Nice. Sure. Okay, so extra 3d6, so that's 4d6, so 4, 10, 14, 18. 18, nice. Uh, let's see, got to do math. I hate math. <laughs> Don't we all? Uh, okay. Uh, good work. Yeah, that was that was a, quite a solid hit on that spider, and it it, it kind of chitters a little bit. Uh, but uh, it is still up. Um, Wes. Oh, I got oh. back into oh. hiding. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so I'm just looking something up real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, seeing it because I can't move. Right. Um. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much I can do unless he's right now. Unless the spider is like right. Spider bit me. I should be able to hit it, right? It's yeah, right it's right next to you. Yeah. Okay, so I will attack the spider. Okay. I don't like the spider as much as I like the teacup. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I got a twelve. 
Uh, that does not do it. Yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you're you're still sort of smitten with this uh, this giant teacup with a monocle. And I was looking at the teacup as I was swinging at the spider because right. I just can't take my eyes off. Yeah. The oh, that makes complete sense. Yeah. I yeah, I would have done the same yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Whiff. So, whiff. Uh, it is now the spider's turn. The spider bamps again out of existence. And then, uh, next to you, uh, 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 let's see, next to you, uh, Jordan, uh, the spider appears again and uh, is going to take a bite out of crime on you. Oh, man. I mean, if it's just going to eat your crime, that's not too bad. Yeah, Ooh. I've got a lot of crime, though. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty valuable to me. I'm oh, pretty well. sure it missed. Uh, <laughs> does a five hit you? You don't. <laughs> okay, yeah. But you know what, Spider? I think you you did a good job. Like, you tried really hard, and that's what's important. It tried. It really tried. Uh, okay, next up is our, our friend. Uh, so... Uh, he is going to um, uh, make a couple of attacks. So he kind of uh, flings uh, Butt Circle, uh, who is wounded from uh, Michael attacking him, and he flings Butt Circle uh, aside, who just kind of crumples. He's no longer floating. He is he is on the ground, uh, and he looks very weak. And he is uh, going to stab at the he will stab at michael first and then he's going to uh yeah he's going to stab at michael and then stab at uh um well i think he's going to stab at you twice michael okay first is a 15 oh yeah that is uh, does a nine hit you? Uh, nine does not. Okay. Uh, 15 hits. It does. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, doesn't he get like a counter attack or something when we take damage? Does he... uh, what was the buff? Yeah. I think on our, uh, actually Dom, wouldn't you be rolling with disadvantage against me? Do I remember that right? What Wait. was that thing that gave us temporary hit points and had when it when we lose him something happens? Oh, was that something that that Thar gave you all? The motivational yeah, speech? Like a, yeah, motivational yeah. speech. Uh it gives you it gives you what? 10, 10 temporary hit points and what uh, else was it, five. Jason? Uh, five. if it hits you, if if a target hits you, then you get advantage when you attack back. Got it. Okay, that's so you it. don't that's get a free attack, about. but you get it. You get advantage when you try to attack back. Uh, totally. Okay. Uh, that sounds that sounds good to me. So okay, he uh, he hits you, and he is doing. Uh, he does thirteen damage to you. Okay, that's not my favorite, but that's okay. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, 13, 13 damage to you. Uh, but he also does an additional nine psychic damage to you. Oh, no. So, 13 piercing, nine psychic. Nine additional psychic damage. But it still uh, uh, gets taken from my main HP, right? Uh, yeah, yes. Temporary hit points go first. Temporary hit points go first, that's right. Right, okay. Uh, I have made the appropriate adjustments. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Uh, okay, Jordan. Okay, oh, God, I want to do something, but it's going to take my entire action to do it. So I think I, I was going to turn into a bull and be like, bull in a china shop, Bleh, but he'll be dead by next round. <laughs> I, I kind of get the vibe. Um, Hilarious. <laughs> so I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to be like, oh, well, if we're dealing with China, then bring out the bull and I'll wild shape into a bull. Great. I love all of that. Awesome. Oh, wait. One sec. Uh-oh. Oh, I know what he's doing. It's back. It's back. I know what he's doing. Uh, okay. We'll let him do that. <laughs> and then uh, Michael, 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what happened oh, to your I... nose? My wild shape was achieved. This is like messed up. Well, that's no good. Uh, okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, Michael, you are still, you need to make another wisdom saving throw, DC 17. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. Um, I'm going to use inspiration to reroll that. Okay. Nope, didn't make it either time. All right, uh, you are attacking a random player. Uh, I will roll again um, a, so to see who is around you. Basically, I believe that uh, you have a Bardis, you have a Terry, you have a Teacup, and uh, I. Uh, Thar, did you come up? Did you attack uh, melee? I was fighting the spider, so I don't. If the spider oh, right. is next to the teacup, then yes. Yeah, uh, I will say you're not. You're not adjacent right now. Okay. okay. Here we go. No, I'm always adjacent. Uh, uh, that is Terry. Wow. Uh, I'm pointing at you, Jason. I might not look at it, like it on your screen, but I am pointing at you on my. <laughs> you know, I high fived myself because I knew no one else was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. no longer allowed to admonish other people for their bad. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, take your attack against Terry. Oh, I don't want to. I'm sorry. Too bad. Well, right. it's a it breaks. 13. 13 does not hit. All right. Great. I feel really good about that. So, Dom, just meta real quick. Yeah. Um, you break out of the, the, the field of bloodlust except for moving out of it. Uh, uh, yeah, unless you make your, unless you make your saving throw, uh, you have to basically move out of, uh, uh, that, that aura. He just doesn't even realize he's in it. I'm just, T Earl Grey hot! Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll roll with that. Or not. <laughs> Uh, uh, you, you can still move and stuff. You, you've just took a, a one melee attack, basically. Uh, you're sort of, consider you're swinging wildly. If you want to try to focus one of your attacks or something like that on, uh, uh, the teacup, you are, you absolutely can. I'm gonna try, just like, ah, you, I don't know who you are, but I don't like you either. Yeah. Is that okay? Okay. Great. All right. So... That is a uh, 16. Uh, a 16 does not hit. It glances right. off of the the teacup. Uh, and, okay. And I'm going to move in a beeline towards the spider because I'm like, and I don't like spiders either. Uh, okay. <laughs> like uh, but you will provoke an attack of opportunity. Um, I'm a little bloodlust right now. So yeah. I, I will. That's okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, does a 10 hit? It does not. All right. Um, okay. Uh, moving on, Terry. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, okay. So I gotta, I gotta end this teacup, right? Cause this is getting out of hand. No, uh, the teacup's then... not a problem. The oh, spider sorry. Is. Spider. Forgive yeah. me. Yes. Oh, I was, I was gone for a minute. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right. Before you do, uh, I need mm -hmm. you to make but a... But I am close to the spider, though, right? Uh, you are close to the spider that... Uh, no, you're not, because the, the other spider appeared next to Jordan. Got it. Okay. Uh, you uh, are, though, you because you said you moved up on the uh, teacup, so you now mm -hmm. must make a wisdom saving throw, DC 17. Great. Uh... Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, do you want to reroll that? Do you have any more inspiration left? I have one inspiration left. I'll try. I mean, you can save it, too, if you want. Um, I'm going to try. Okay. I'll push. Might as well. Can YOLO. Yeah, that was worse. Cool, cool. Uh -oh. Okay. Well, can't do it. maybe you weren't all that inspired. Okay. I really wasn't. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a 13. 
Okay, uh, I will say on a uh, one to two, you attack uh, Michael. On a three to four, you attack Wes. On a five to six, you attack the uh, teacup. Okay. That was a four on the die. So that is Wes. Uh, so make a melee attack. Yeah, we are taking each other out. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like real life. Uh, <laughs> is this real life? Uh, yeah. Stay away from each other. Okay. Uh, I... Eight? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Does, uh, does, does an eight hit you? Does an eight no, hit, Wes? No, hit, eight does not hit. Okay, good. <laughs> this, this fight needs more social distancing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, because I have to wrap it up quick. Basically, we're going to go through through uh, we're going to end. We're going to go through this round uh, and finish up this round, and we'll see where things lie at the end of this round. So make uh, just go go for broke, if you will. Um, uh, uh, Terry, you do you, I believe you can make another attack. I I'm yeah, not 100 percent sure. So yep. uh, if you want to try and focus that on the teacup, you can. Um, sure. Since I'm right there and, and try to break this, can I do any spells or anything like that? Can I like? Is there anything I can do to stop it? Stop its hold on everybody. Uh, uh, uh sure. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can make a spell if you'd like to do that. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Can I use hellish rebuke on it? That is it a reaction. Features. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I want to get rid of it. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll just try to fight it. All right. For now. I don't know what. Yeah, just kill that thing. Oh, yeah. I rolled a natural 20. So. Oh, that, nice. That's Ooh. cool. That hits. Uh, yeah. Uh, Great. Su surprisingly, um, uh, uh, roll your damage and roll it twice. Dice so nice you roll them twice. All right. All right. Um, cool, cool, cool. Um, does, uh, does, does 16 hurt it? Uh, 16 hurts it, yes. Uh, how much? God only knows. Which God? I'm not crumpet? telling. Crumpet? Crumpet? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Um, Jason. Okay. So I'm going to use a third level spell slot and cast sleep. Oop. Uh, on the. Wait. Uh, you all moved. Sorry, you all shifted around. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, okay. Um, continue. Chat, okay. you, you understand who these people are. If they don't line up with their <laughs> names, that's fine. You're now Jordan, Jason. I'm sorry. Oh, God. We're all oh, uh, wrong. That's fine. Terry, he's, he's, Terry and Wes oh, are the no. only people who remain the same. J Jordan seems like a stand-up guy, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all right with that. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Jordan's now Michael, so. Okay. Cool. Rick is now Jason. Michael's now oh, cool. Rick. I always wanted to be Jason. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, My son likes cottage cheese, just so you know. <laughs> Okay, so um, as a third level sleep spell, I have no idea if this teacup counts as a creature, but nah. <laughs> um, I get to roll uh, 9d8, and I have, um, if I've added right, this up correctly, 9d8? 9 eight-sided nine dice. Jeez Louise, okay. Um, and Do you try I to have, put it to sleep? Yeah. Murder yeah. dice. That's yeah. a deep sleep. That's like, yep. it's, it's, you have to beat its hit Sleepy points, Sleepy time right? tea. Yeah, so I can do, uh, it looks like 37 That's next session. hit points worth of sleep. Um, how, how much hit points worth of sleep? So if it, if it has 37 or fewer hit points left, it, it'll go to sleep. Um, and if it has more than 37 hit points, it does nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does nothing. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Ah. <laughs> Okay, that was my gro go for broke spell. So, oh man, you can't put tea to sleep. It's got caffeine. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Especially this one. It's a black tea for sure. Oh man. We needed to caffeine. Uh, why is it gotta be black? <laughs> <laughs> Terry? That's a valid question. Green? I don't know. I don't 
don't That's know. That's a valid question. Green tea's also got caffeine. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. It's Earl Grey. It's Earl Grey. It's a black tea. Oh, that's right. That's right. And it's hot. Uh, Real hot. Okay, uh, Rick. You uh, okay, are still, still captivated. Yeah, you okay. are still charmed. Uh, then I guess I'm going to shoot at the spider again. Uh, uh, okay. Because I can't move and I can't shoot at the teacup. So. 12. Uh, that does not hit. All right, I'm going to spend the inspiration. I got Do one it. more. Try this again. 16. That hits. Hey! Yay! All right. Uh, okay, and I was in hiding again, so uh, I can do this once per turn. So, yeah. uh, all right, so that is one plus three is four plus five is nine. Plus one is ten. Uh, ten points of damage. That's yeah. Not not bad. Okay. Great. Uh, okay. Um, it is uh s still up. Oh, and I duck back into hiding just Great. in case it comes around. Me. Uh, Wes. Uh, is the spider close enough to me to be able to hit with a melee weapon? Um. Uh. uh sure. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I got to end this session like super fast. So, well, yeah, we're, we're yes, absolutely. You can okay. Does it. a 17 hit? Yes. All right. So then I do. That is 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage. Uh, yeah, with the searing, I have the searing uh, smite on there as well. So. Oh, does that do anything else? That, that just getting, well, that I added oh. it in. Uh, gotcha. It, it gets the more damage. Got it. Okay. Right. Awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, the spider that you just hit bamps out of existence, and uh, another spider uh, appears. Uh, you can kind of tell that this looks different than the spider you just hit. No, we're fighting um, two bamping spiders. Uh, yeah, it looks to be that way. Uh, and wow. uh, the spider reappears and takes a bite out of... Uh, it's going to go after Rick, actually. No! Not Rick. Does yeah, a 21... Does a 21 hit? Oh, wait, I'm Jason. It's okay. Wait, yeah, is it Rick? Yeah. <laughs> Jason, Rick? Jason, Jason Rick. Jason Rick. <laughs> Does a 21 hit you? He rickrolled. Uh, yeah, very much so. <laughs> okay, I need you to give me a uh, constitution save. Constitution, okay. Uh, what is my, okay. But we might have to give you a... 14? That makes it. Okay, so you Yay! just take uh, 12 piercing damage. And, uh... Let's I can see. Hear you, but I turned into a bull. You take half half damage though uh from the poison so you take seven points of poison damage oh, wait and i've got uncanny dodge uh, when attacker i can see hits me with an attack i can use my reaction to have the attack's damage against me Ooh. uh okay so you get six and uh three All so right, nine so total 20 okay so i'm done that. okay 29 uh okay um wes yes Wait, no, sorry. Never mind. That was the spiders attacking Rick. Uh, right. Okay, yeah, okay. The uh, the big bad now will... Uh, Take its charm off of all of us? Yeah. I like that plan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he actually is going to... Um, he's going to look at you, at the marauding forces in front of him, and he is going to uh just whip his handle kind of back into the teacup and it kind of fuses back in there and he's all like well this is a this is quite preposterous and i am leaving and the no blue, we can't leave i haven't gotten to bull him the blue <laughs> lights start forming around him uh jp you get you can get a free Did he leave a, a, uh, oh, oh, oh wow oh god you know i feel we could have gotten through this whole combat <laughs> If it wasn't, I mean, I'm a tiefling. I'm a tiefling. <laughs> All right, yeah. JP, do, give it your best shot. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> charge him and slam and him, which 
because bulls are the natural enemy of, of China everywhere, hopefully this yeah. will help. I'll give you advantage on this. Why not? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is a plus seven to hit. Terry, you're so much more than a tiefling. I got a unnatural 20. That hits. 20? Oh, boy. And then it is 2d6 plus four bashing damage. Uh, which is uh, 11. Uh, yeah, so you do a considerable amount of damage, and you you are able to hit it and knock it back, uh, which causes the blue lights that were surrounding it to surround you, and uh, suddenly uh, you are ripped from existence, uh, at least in front of in front of everybody here, uh, uh, and you are transported away. The rest of you uh, see a battered and bruised teacup in front of you uh, and battered and bruised uh, spiders and battered and bruised butt circle uh, are all in front of you uh, and uh, something is going wrong with the the transporter it looks like blue lights are starting to appear all over the place and uh, you start getting picked up one by one uh, in that in that blue light and get uh, whisked away and on that we were in the session. Um, <laughs> thank you very well, much. We made a lot of progress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we had uh, we had a lot of fun too, though. I you had a lot of puns. A lot of puns. Yeah. I, I miss uh, Gary the Cronenberg. Yeah, the Cronenberg. <laughs> the Cronenberg. Yeah, um, Cronenberg was great. So let's we're go around. Six puns. Let us know what you think in the chat. <laughs> Let's go right. around, starting with uh, Wes, and uh, 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 tell us who you are and where we can find you. Uh, my name is Wes, and uh, you can find me at Plate Mail Games. Uh, I sell uh, sound effects for games, backgrounds, all this. And we have a Kickstarter going right now for Deadlands. Um, we're doing an audio collection for Deadlands. It's got, I think, two days left. Uh, so go check it out. I also run a show called 12 Sided Stories with the wonderful Terry. Um, and we put out shows uh, weekly. Uh, it's, a, it's a podcast, so... That's where I'm at. Nice. Uh, Rick Budd, uh, a.k.a. Michael Holmes. Uh, yes. Uh, well, no, no. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're Jason Mills. Right, I forgot. I'm Jason. <laughs> right. So, wait. Am I actually giving Rick's information or am I giving mine? <laughs> Just give yours. Michael Holmes. I'm, I'm Rick Budd, a.k.a. Michael Holmes. You can find me uh, on uh, Twitter at MRH underscore 3E. You can find me on Instagram. Michael R. Holmes, and I'm also one of the uh, hosts and rotating game masters for the Games We Never Play podcast, which you can find both of those socials at GWNP underscore pod. Pretty sure that's right. Um, and uh, yeah, this has been a blast. You all are, are crazy people, and I love you. Oh, uh, hey. Terry. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, hi, I'm Terry. You can find me at the Terry. I'm going to try. No, I can't I do that that fast today. At the Terry Gamble on the Internet. Um, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, and um, you can also find me at Horror Movie Survival Guide. It's a weekly podcast about scary movies. Um, we're doing movies from 1979 this whole last month because it's the year I was born. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, and March was the month I was born as well. Me and my co-host both, actually. Um, we're days apart on the same year. So we've been doing fun stuff from 79. Check it out. Um, yeah, I think this last week it's just a Dracula. We have a new adventure that's coming out on Monday. Um, and I'm also at 12 Sided Stories with Wes. Um, you can check that out, actual play podcast. We're getting back into Other World London. Crowd favorite is coming back. We've been recording this weekend, so check that out. Um, and yeah, I'm at Saving Throw on Tuesday nights usually. Um, we'll be back in a couple weeks for Pirates of Salt Bay. Um, D and D, uh, wonderful, fun, weird, wacky adventure with a bunch of pirates. Arr, booty. That's for all you guys. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Uh, Michael Holmes, aka Jordan Pridgen. Which one of us? Jordan is... Pridgen. Oh, okay. Michael okay. already hey. went. <laughs> right, right, right. Got it. Yeah, I was just confused. Uh, <laughs> hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Pridgen. You can follow me on Twitter at Jordan Pidgen, and then also I'm 
here on Saving Throw uh, for Wild Cards on Friday nights. We are finishing up the last season of our East Texas University campaign. So, you know, tune in there as we all remote pretend to be college students. And uh, if I'm also on The Broken Pact, which I guess is coming back eventually, but that's where I wear that bull helmet because I'm a minotaur there. So keep your eyes peeled. Uh, uh, Jason Mills, a.k.a. Rick Bud. The real, uh, hi, that's me, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Um, sure, hi. okay. Um, I'm, I'm Jason, Rick's lovely, but I'm, I'm not Rick. So um, I'm, I'm Jason Mills. <laughs> Most of my uh, streaming I do over at Happy Jacks. You can find Happy Jacks RPG at um, Twitch and uh, YouTube, and there's a website. We do a bunch of fun stuff over there. Actually, tomorrow I'm launching my new uh, Sunday afternoon campaign. We're going to be playing an Eberron D&D uh, game, and I'm also on a mission to sit in every seat at the Saving Throw um, <laughs> studio, although I haven't. Nice. I've, I've got three out of four, out of five, I guess. Uh, so I'm, I'm making my way downtown and, um, that's, uh, you can find, uh, everything I do over at it's probably okay on Twitter. And, uh, you can find my game demigods over there and all the other stuff that I do. Awesome. And last, but certainly not least, Mr. Rick Budd. Wait, is that me? I've kind of forgot who I am. I don't know. Why don't, <laughs> um, just go ahead and no say something. Uh, to, yeah, um, uh, I'm Rick Bud. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at rbud913. Um, I'm the GM of Tempting Fate, which is on hiatus now. And, you know, this, you know, what's going on in the world has kind of slowed our return. But hopefully I will have some information on that uh, coming out. You can follow the show at Tempting Fate RPG on Twitter and Instagram. And, uh, and yeah, it's it's been so great to be here today and play with all these awesome folks. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you, you, thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, I will be uh, uh, saying goodbye to you and ending this call. So goodbye, everybody. Thank you so See much you for joining. Thank you, Tom. Bye. Bye, Thanks everyone. for watching, strangers on the internet.